Hi, I'm William from the customer monitoring team, and uh, I'd like to demonstrate how to add a PSQL database in StrongDM. Um, first, I'm going to start by adding the data source here. Uh, for this, the purposes of this demo, I'm using the RNA Central public Postgres database just to demonstrate. Um, this is the publicly available database that we use for our examples. Um, has all the connection details here available at this site. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and click Add Data Source. I'm going to give it a name. It's going to be example underscore PSQL. This is going to be the regular PostgreSQL type. We also have an MTLS Postgres uh, type that supports a server certificate. Um, for this example, I'm just going to be doing the regular one. For this, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the details. Um, if you're doing this yourself, you'd copy all the details for your database into these fields. Uh, so we're going to get the host name, copy this in. Port is already correct. This is the default for Postgres. The database. The username for that database. And then finally, the password. Okay, and then we also have this option, limit all connections to the configured database. By default, we have this on, and what this is going to do is when the user connects to the database, they will not be able to switch databases. Um, if you like, you can turn this off, and this will allow them to switch. I'll leave it on for this example. So we'll go ahead and click Create. Okay, looks like this is reachable by my gateway that I have configured, important. Uh, to give my user access to this database, I'm going to go ahead and configure a role. Uh, my user is already part of this admin role, so I'm just going to add a new access rule so that they can access it. It's going to be a static rule. It's going to choose the example of the SQL resource that I just created. Save and apply. All right. Now my user should have access via the role. Go ahead and just do an SDM status. We can see that this resource, example PSQL, it's not currently connected. It's available on 54.32, and it's a Postgres type re uh, resource. Go ahead and connect to that resource. This is required. Okay, so it was successful. And then we're going to go ahead and access that resource using the Postgres shell. So there's going to be, uh, you're going to specify the host name as localhost. And then the port as the port here. So that's going to be 5432. Okay, and now we're successfully connected through SDM. I'm going to go ahead and just list the tables that we have available here. Let's see if this works properly. All right, um, I think that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.